Cool, so moving on to eights, lust. Um, lust is not necessarily only sexual, um, although it can play out that way. For an eight, most often though, this lust is a need for it to be right now. Not three seconds from now, but right now. It's this huge, larger than life intensity that everything they want needs to happen right now. These are very impatient people, and if they're not getting it right now, they're making it right now. They're gonna do, they're gonna step in, and they're gonna take charge, and they're gonna create the situation that they need. Um, these are people who are often called steamrollers. Um, these are people who tend to run rough, roughshod over other people. Um, I'm an eight, and I have been called a steamroller before in not the nicest context. Um, and it's not intentional. Eights tend to be the ones who get called the assholes because they are so deeply aggressive. If they're female, they get called bitches. They're the ones who are like loud and proud about their anger. They have no problem standing up to people. They're out there. They can be really in your face. They can be really loud. Uh, we were joking earlier um, before we started the workshop that the only complaint I had at my last job was that I was too loud. Uh, I had several um, sit-downs with my old boss, and she was like, you just need to be quieter. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know how to do that. Um, so eights are always trying to create something to meet their needs. They're always trying to manufacture this intensity. They can tend to be um, adrenaline junkies. And what happens when an eight really engages with their work is they develop the virtue of innocence. And innocence for an eight, I'm an eight, I didn't get it at first. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, all, the other, all the other ones make sense, like deceit, honesty, like avarice, not attachment, fear, faith, gluttony, so right, like those all make sense. Pride, humility, like, oh, it's just like the opposite, right? And then like lust and innocence, and I was like, what, is, what does innocence mean? I was actually much more forceful about it when I first heard it. I was very angry because I did not understand. Um, but innocence is this, when you think about innocence, you think about kids. You think about puppies. You think about people and things and situations who are just experiencing life as it is, like it's the first time. Like, that's what innocence is for an eight. And eights often feel like they had to give up their innocence way too early. And so they're always coming at life like, I got to take care of myself, and I'm going to, like, fight this battle, and, you know, all these things. Like, they're the Batmans and Batwomans of the Enneagram. Um, they lost their innocence too soon, and so coming back around to it in their adult life is, like, allowing life to be what it is without trying to manipulate it or change it. Eights grow the most by allowing themselves to be led. Um, eights are often in charge. Often they are the leaders. They are the ones doing the shit. And they got everybody following them. And it's really hard for eights to surrender that to someone else. And so it's a huge growing piece for an eight to find a teacher, a mentor, a therapist, you know, somebody who can lead them and guide them. That's a huge thing for eights. Also, they have to learn how to work with gentleness and subtlety. And eights can tend to be very dense. <laughs> um, they're also very extreme. These are people who want, want it big, like go big or go home. But when eights can learn how to work with gentleness and subtlety, that's when they really start to grow in their practices and in their lives. Um, eights experience presence as the felt sense. So we're back into the, re the green, the body triad, the felt sense of power and vitality and aliveness. So this kind of adrenaline rush that they're always kind of creating is, is not real aliveness. When they're present, they can feel their heartbeat. They can hear their breath and that they know that there is a power and a vitality in that that they can't get when they're not present to those things. And being an eight and having that experience is it's totally different. It's a deeply grounded sense of power and of energy um, where your 
adrenaline rush is not. It's scattered. It's all over the place. 